If you're looking to use the ASUS Zephyrus G14 for video editing, then you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to show you some playback of 4K and 6K while video editing, some export times, as well as the battery life on the different fan modes and what you can expect for how long this laptop will last on the go for your video editing experience. First and foremost, I have a 4K project open in the timeline, and I'm going to start to just run some playback here in the timeline. As you can see, Getting the project started and moving through the project, we're gonna have zero dropped frames. Now, as I begin to edit the project, just simply go and make some trims and add those in here. Gonna delete. Everything moves and edits very smoothly. The 16 by 10 aspect ratio is a massive upgrade for working inside of Premiere Pro. I noticed when I was using last year's model that everything felt pretty scrunched on the 16 by nine aspect ratio. By opening it up and giving us that extra room in the height of the screen, it is just so much better and definitely makes this year's model a huge win in that regard. I want to thank Best Buy for sponsoring this video, making it possible to create these in-depth reviews of the Asus Zephyrus G14 with the latest Ryzen 9 6900HS and AMD RX graphics. Best Buy is my go-to online and in-person store for snagging the latest laptop releases. I've found that they get laptops in sooner and keep their stock longer than any other retailer. Not only do they carry the most in-demand models, but are constantly providing some of the best deals you can find anywhere online. If you're catching this video in the first week of it going live and you're looking to pick up the Asus Zephyrus G14, you can order both G14 options right now. Best Buy not only offers convenient curbside pickup, which I used to pick up my model of the G14, but also super fast delivery on thousands of items so you can get to your creative work faster. Click the link in the description below to check out the Asus Zephyrus G14 as well as some of the other latest in-demand AMD equipped laptops. As far as the GPU and CPU is concerned with handling 4K video editing, it plays back very smoothly. Now, the only place where I start to see some lag um, is going to be in more intense motion graphics. So as I go and I shift into the motion graphics here, you can see that it starts to drop some frames using these motion graphics. So if you're gonna be using a lot of motion graphics, then that's where I'd recommend upgrading to the RX 6800S over the RX 6700S that I'm using in this video. But overall, as far as the actual 4K editing is concerned with that H.264 footage, it plays back very smoothly. Um, now let's go ahead and move on to some 6K B-RAW footage really quickly and see how well the laptop does with that. Now I wanted to point out that for both of these tests in both 4K and 6K, I'm using the laptop on hybrid mode with a standard GPU setting and it's on turbo. And as you can see, the noise decibel limit is about 40 decibels of fan noise. And I'll stop talking so you can see that. About 42 decibels. And then as I go to start to play back the 6K project, which has color grading on it, it's scaled down to a 4K timeline, and I'm gonna go ahead and click play at full quality. As you can see, we have some drop frames here. So if you run full quality 6K footage on power with in turbo mode, you're gonna see some drop frames, but it's still definitely a usable, editable experience. So go ahead and we'll clip out some of the footage here. Delete that, slide it back. It's very responsive in the timeline. It starts up very quickly, but it definitely has some drop frames. And as you start to really push the laptop, you can see that the fans pick up. About 55 decibels of fan noise. Now, as I drop the project down to eighth quality, we're definitely gonna have a smoother playback experience. It just won't be as clear when you're watching it playback in the timeline. It's gonna be a little more, you know, lower resolution, but it allows you to have a much smoother editing experience. So now I'll go ahead and play back once more with the audio on so you can hear how smooth it is. Last year's model at a discount than the latest model we have here before us. Although I will say there's a few key things that I think make this a great... Now when I run my standard playback test, I don't have any extra footage on the timeline. I just put a 6K B-RAW file into a 4K timeline and I play it back. And during that, it only had about 500 total drop frames. Now earlier I discussed the battery life and what you might be able to expect with this laptop. If you're running it on Eco 
and on silent mode, basically what you're doing is you're eliminating the GPU performance. So for a 4K playback of a nine minute project on loop, it takes about four hours for the battery to go dead. Now keep in mind that you're gonna probably have about 7,000 drop frames doing that sort of setup inside of the Armory Crate Center. So it's not gonna be your most optimized and smooth video editing experience to say the least, but you will have really good battery life. So if you're on the go, you need battery life, but you need to make a few tweaks on your project, you can have good battery life and still be able to edit some video. However, when you switch over to say hybrid or discrete GPU mode and you're on battery power, you're still gonna have good playback performance, much better than when you run in the eco mode. But what's gonna happen is you're gonna substantially decrease your battery life to below two hours. So for discrete GPU mode, it's gonna be about an hour and 40 some minutes. And for hybrid GPU mode, it's gonna be about two hours and 30 minutes. Regarding the export time, it's really amazing to see the Ryzen 9 6900 HS export the 4K nine minute clip in five minutes and six seconds. And that's not even using the discrete graphics, that's only using the CPU. But as soon as you turn on discrete GPU mode or hybrid GPU mode, you end up at about the two minute and 50 second export time for 4K video editing. Now I'm gonna pull the other export times up on the screen as well. These are all nine minute clips and they're all exported at full quality YouTube 4K settings and then matching the source resolution. So that's how those results pan out as far as the export times are concerned. Now, I'm not a big DaVinci Resolve user, but I did test the playback and it does playback smooth in the timeline for 4K video editing. The export times are coming up on the screen now so you can see those results. Jumping back to Premiere Pro, if you're looking for optimal video editing export times out of Premiere, I would definitely run hybrid performance standard mode inside of the Armory Crate Center. This is gonna give you a thermal temperature of about 78 degrees Celsius during the export and you're only gonna see it peak to about 92 degrees Celsius in the last 10 seconds of that push where it really ramps up the CPU to finish off the encoding and exporting. And you're gonna see a fan noise of 42 decibels, which is on the quieter end of the range that this laptop can produce while doing video editing work. Now, the best part is it's gonna export about three minutes and 35 seconds for both those thermals and fan noise. Now, if you want the fastest export time possible, you're gonna see about 90 degrees Celsius and about 45 decibels of fan noise for a two minute and 50 second export. So really, to me, in order to keep the laptop cool and quiet, it's worth that slightly slower export time compared to the faster one with a hotter thermal and a louder fan. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the G14, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Otherwise, likes if this video has brought you some value and subs if you want to miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.